Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. This video is about the filament extruder and some of the problems I've been having with it and uh, also some of the progress that I've made with it. And to start out, uh, we'll just start with the problems. Uh, the main problem I'm having with it, and, and it's been just the, the biggest headache by far, is to get it to make filament at 1.75 millimeters, which is what you need to 3D print. I just cannot get that flow coming out of the nozzle at the, the correct amount. I, I can get it there and it's, it's wavy, um, the filament's oval shaped, and I hate to say that I've tried everything, but I've tried everything. Um, I'm afraid what I'm gonna have to do is go back to the drawing board on the extruder and go with version 2.0. So let me just uh, zoom in here and I'll just show you guys some of the things that I've been doing with it and some of the problems I've had, some of the things I've tried. All right, here is the extruder assembly. And as you know from watching the previous videos, the plastic comes through here and it comes out the nozzle here on the end. Now, I just can't get a consistent flow at 1.75 millimeters coming through this system. I've tried a bigger nozzle, I've tried a smaller nozzle, the nozzle size doesn't seem to help. So what I was thinking, the first thing I tried was um, I thought maybe there needed to be some more room here for the plastic to melt as it came through. So this is the original pipe that I've had on there which put it at a right about here. So it increased this much area to maybe melt the plastic and get it good and melted before it came out the end. This didn't work. Um, it, it actually made it a whole lot worse. It, the, the plastic barely comes out, like maybe an inch a minute when you run this at full speed. Um, it, it just didn't do, didn't do a very good job. So that wasn't the problem. Another thing that I have tried was an auger bit. I know a lot of you guys have left uh, comments about uh, the auger, try an auger bit. I tried the auger bit with the original pipe. I tried it with the lo longer pipe. It just, it seemed like it wanted to work. But the problem again was it just would not push the filament out at the right rate. And I know that this, this auger bit is pushing much more plastic down this pipe than the, the original bit, the high speed bit that's actually in there now. This is pushing more plastic. The problem is it's not melting. So one thing left that I can try is to put a second heater band on the end here and hopefully with this bit pushing much more plastic, a higher volume of plastic down here, a second heater band will melt it and, and get it to where it will come out the nozzle. That is the only thing left that I can think of to try. Um, I don't have a second heater band and the other problem is the heater band will, will clamp on to this part quite well but it will not, it's too big to go on the actual pipe. So I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. Also, I have looked at other extruders and, and I've talked to Russ and asked him some questions. And I think another problem may be I'm using the 5 8 drill bits and I may need to use a larger drill bit, a larger pipe, and I think a second heater band. I, I think that will solve all the problems that I'm having getting that plastic to flow through there. But I'm not sure and I, w I really won't know till I try. But if I do that, it's gonna involve building uh, version 2.0 of this because to put the bigger pipes and everything on there, there's really nothing I can salvage off of here. Uh, it's, it's all designed around this uh, half inch uh, NPT pipe. So uh, that's where I'm at with the uh, extruder the actual assembly part. So let me uh, go into the circuit board and I'll show you some of the progress that I've made with that. 
This is the circuit board. It is a working prototype. Everything on it is working. Um, I've spent some time on the menu. These are the switches for the menu. I've got a alarm that will tell you when the filament goes out of tolerance. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, I've got a Teensy LC running it. I've got a, the stepper motor driver. Uh, this is the circuitry for the calipers. And I've got two uh, voltage regulators. Uh, one's for the whole circuit board and this one is for the calipers. Let me turn the power on here and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so there are two modes. There's an automatic mode and then there's a manual mode. The manual mode just sets this motor, the, the puller motor that, that pulls the filament after it comes out the nozzle. It just sets it at a current speed and it leaves it there. There's no PID, there's no autocorrect, there's, there's nothing. And this is good for um, tuning your uh, extruder, finding problems. Um, it, it takes some of the variables out uh, when you're trying to get your, your machine set up. The other mode is the automatic mode and what that will do is it will turn on the, the PID algorithm and the autocorrect and it will work to keep your filament uh, at a consistent size by speeding up and slowing down that motor to adjust for your filament. Now everything can be done now with the menu uh, Prior to this getting to its current state, if I wanted to change the PID value, like the P uh, parameter, I had to go in the Arduino code and hard code it and then upload the program back into the Teensy. Now everything can be done through this menu. I can change these values and you can change it on the fly while it's running. But these values can be changed. And then when you, when you save it, it saves it into the EEPROM on the Teensy. Uh, you can change all the PID parameters. You can change the sample rate of the PID. The alarm, this sets a minimum and a maximum size of your filament. If you're looking for 1.75 millimeter filament and 1.8 is too high and 1.65 is too low, then you can set these and what it will do is, say you, you set this machine up and you walk away for a second or you turn around and you're not, your eyes aren't glued on that caliper reading, you may have some filament if, say, it goes too big. And if that's in the middle of this roll of filament. You don't want that to jam your printer. So you, you need a way of knowing, hey, this went out of tolerance. So what it'll do is it'll light this LED if it goes below the minimum setting or above the maximum setting. Now, when you're ready to run the automatic mode, you go into automatic mode and then you start it. And what this is doing is this bottom row, that's your PID values. And I've just got that on there right now for, for an easy way for me to see what the settings are and to, to play with the, the the system to try and find the, the best parameters. This reading here, this reading here is the calipers. So if the filament coming out was 1.5 millimeters, this would say 1.5. And this number over here on the top right, that is the adjustment that the PID is making to either make the filament larger or smaller. And I will go more into that in uh, later videos, but this, this is the current state and this is good enough to hook up to an extruder and to keep that filament within the uh, parameters that you want. So what's next for the filament extruder you're asking? Well, the circuit board works really well. And what I've done is I've drawn this up in dip trace, uh, the computer program, and I've sent that schematic to Russ at rwgresearch.com. If you haven't been watching his channel, he's been doing some work with uh, making printed circuit boards with one of his 3D printers. Um, I talked to him earlier in the week. He was waiting on some cutters. 
So I don't know if those have come in yet, if he's got it all set up, but uh, I've, I've sent the schematic to him and he's gonna make some circuit boards. And the plan right now is he's gonna try this out on his extruder while I work on mine, uh, improving it or making version 2.0. Um, but that, that's where we are with that. Uh, he's going to be working on the electronics and I'm going to be working on the mechanical problem that I've got here. So check out his site. Uh, put the link in the description. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down. That lets me know what you guys like to see. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these upcoming videos on the extruder or any of the other fun projects that I've got coming up. And as usual, thanks for watching.